A startling announcement by Governor Ron DeSantis today revealing his wife and our First Lady Casey DeSantis has been diagnosed with breast cancer. Little is known at this hour about the stage of her diagnosis, but in a statement today, the governor said, quote, Casey is a true fighter and she will never, never, never give up. The announcement lining up with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, of course, WPTV News Channel 5's Michelle Casada talks to Nancy Brinker today, the founder of Susan G. Komen and a survivor of breast cancer herself. The news of First Lady Casey DeSantis diagnosed with breast cancer, once again shining a light on a disease that does not discriminate. It's a little bit like an explosive going off in your life. It really is. It feels like someone threw a bomb at you. Nancy Brinker remembers when she received that dreaded diagnosis. And it's going to be a journey. It always is when you develop this disease. I was very young and developing it as well. I was 38. Uh, at three years after my sister died. Nancy's sister was Susan G. Coleman, who died at age 36 from breast cancer. Nancy has spent most of her life hoping to keep the promises she made to her sister on fighting this brutal disease. I'm very concerned, however, about the amount of disparities in the United States today. We still have 42,000 women who die every year of breast cancer. 250,000 diagnosed. There's a huge concern over the impact the pandemic will have on future breast cancer cases. The CDC reports a more than 80% decrease in screenings during the pandemic. I'm just worried about what is going to result from that. Brinker says the Promise Fund of Florida, an organization she co-founded, is working with Found Care and other organizations to provide screenings to women in Palm Beach County. It is reported that we have 80,000 women who have never had any kind of screening. This Breast Cancer Awareness Month, she hopes more women will get screened. But at the end of the day, it's still the best technique to detect early breast cancer. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.